So here are we in the SIM center. So when we are ready to start the procedure, we want to first uh, make the timeout, make sure that the patient is right and you have the labels uh, already saved and corrected and everything is uh, in place. So we are ready to start. Um, we want to recheck again the position. So we talk about lateral decubitus is the ideal position, recumbent position. Uh, and we want to go and try to see if we feel the, the uh, iliac, <laughs> iliac crest. Uh, and we do like imaginary line and palpate the interspace, which would be around L3, L4, or L4, L5. Those are the, the ideal spaces, so we've done that. So now I know the position, I have an idea where I'm going to go, so I'm ready to start the procedure and set up everything to do the LP. So I'm going to open the tray, and initially I don't need a glove since I'm just opening the outer pack. Now I'm going to use the sterilized gloves, of course, after I wash my hands. I should be very careful when wear the gloves in a, um, a septically way, like surgeons do. So I want to open like that. So it's okay to touch the outside of the glove, the inside of the glove with your hands. Now that I have one on, I don't want to touch the stereo glove with my hands, of course. So now I can use the outside of the glove and wear them both. So that will be the, this will be the right way to put the gloves on, aseptically. So now that I have um, my gloves, I'm ready to start the preparation of my tray. In the skin, we start doing like circular, circular movements, starting from the center, going out. We don't put this back in the tray. We discard that, discard that. Then we do again. And one more time, so three times to clean the skin. So now we are ready, so we can use the fenestrated comb to make sure that we have a good space and area to work. Now we are ready to start the procedure. So we, so we want to make sure that everything is done right before we start the procedure. So we set up the manometer and um, and just make sure that the numbers go like all together. So the last one is a 36, so I start on the 39. We never know how high is going to be the intracranial pressure or the opening pressure. Uh, and this goes in a butterfly since we are going to use this side goes where is the needle. So here goes the manometer. And I'm going to close for now the outside. So this will be the close, so uh, CSF coming here and going up to check the, the pressure, which is in centimeters. So I have this ready here. And I'm going to also open and check each tube. They, they are all num numbered, as, as I said before. So you want to check all the, the numbers and put them in order. And we open them up before we are ready to do it. We want to. The anesthetic also is ready, and I usually get an extra one on the side in case I need it. So now I'm going to come to 
make sure that we have a good space and area to work. Now we are ready to start the procedure. So we first recheck our landmarks and make sure that we are in the, in the right place and the patient continues the same position. We are ready to start um, injecting the local anesthetic. We will do like a small button initially. We always try to see if there is no blood coming out and then we are ready to inject some anesthetics. And then you never want to recap the needle. After using the smaller needle, we go and use the larger needle and we try to administrate uh, the anesthetic in the same point where we were, but deeper. We always try to see if there is any blood coming out and then we inject more anesthetics. And now we are ready to start our, our LP. Now that the patient has the local anesthetic, we will start introducing the LP needle in the direction that we talked, cephalic, in parallel with uh, the bed. I felt a little bit of resistance and all of a sudden some loose, so it feels like I am in the space. So I'm going to check and remove the introductor and CSF should come out. So the CSF is there, so it should be very quick and get the manometer ready to have the measure of the opening pressure. So we cannot wait like a few, like many drops to come out until, so the pressure, the ideally should be between 11 and 14 to be uh, normal opening pressure. So when we are done, we can remove that and start with the tube number one. So we remove here and we start taking CSF out from the tube number one. And then we don't have to demonstrate all the tubes, but we are going to remove CSF from uh, to some into one, some into two, three, and four. Um, we don't need more than like eight drops per tube. That will be enough for the lab analysis. Reintroduce the stylet and uh, we are done. So we can use a gauze and remove the needle in one movement. And I usually rub the patient's skin for a little while and the patient is done. We can use some Band-Aid for the skin and that's it.